Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague with Fred Anderson Toyota. What's up? Happy Friday. I'm your complete Toyota car buying resource. I get this question a lot. People have been waiting for the 2024 runners, especially the TRD off-road premiums. So we're gonna compare last year's model, the 2019 TRD off-road premium in magnetic gray versus our silver friend here, TRD off-road premium 2020. I'm gonna show you the differences and you tell me which one you like best if you had to decide today. Now, these two I've selected here, they both have the XP Predator package on it, which means they have black dot badging. They've got the black TRD wheels, tires, and the front end, that Toyota logo. But let me show you how that's changed from 19 to 20. Plane coming overhead, plane in the house. All right, so look at the front end on the 19. You'll see this one has no Toyota safety sense, so you will not see a radar here. You will not see a camera here. You will definitely see the Toyota TRD Pro Grill. Now let's come on over here to our brand new 20. This is exciting, Toyota Safety Sense. So XP package, it's got black dot badging. It's got the Toyota Safety Sense radar here. And I can tell you when I was driving up to do this, this one was already parked. You really can't even see that until you get really close. So I don't think it'll be a distraction at all. It kind of blends in from anywhere other than very, very close. You'll also notice the camera that faces outward and that's watching lanes for pre-collision system, pedestrian detection. It's got dynamic radar cruise control, automatic high beams and lane departure alert. So here's one of the differences now. Look at this one here. It does not have the Toyota TRD Pro grill on it. The XP package does not seem to have that on this year's model, but this is how it does look. It's got the chrome right here, kind of blends in with this silver one, that's for sure. All right, now, one of the big differences you'll see, the 2020 uses a smart key, it's smart. This one here on the 19, it uses the traditional key. So you're gonna get this upgraded smart key standard on the premiums, SR5 premium, TRD off-road premium, TRD Pro, and let's just walk around this car so you can kind of get a feel for what the 2020 is like. A lot of it's going to be similar, but because it is a premium, it's going to have turn signal indicator on the side. Now the smart key, it's optional, or it's not optional. It works on the driver's side and the passenger side. So you lock it just like that. And then if I come over here, it opens on the driver's side as well. So it's very convenient if you've got your hands full of groceries, kid supplies, dog things, snacks. Of course, with the off-road, uh, the XP, it's gonna be in black badging. And we can come around to the back and see what happens when you add the XP Predator package to a 19 or a 20. It's gonna say X series on it. This will all be blacked out. Just so you know, you can lock your car from the back. This is unlocked, this is locked. Pretty easy stuff. The towing capacity is 5,000 pounds. It comes with a four and a seven pin connector. This glass lowers through mechanism operated in the front of the vehicle. On the 2020, you're gonna get standard two USB ports in the back. They're charging ports. That way folks in the back can charge their devices, their iPads, their everything's basically their cell phones and nobody has to fight over who's gonna connect to the world next. And in the 19, you'll see that it does not have a place for the two USB ports. It has the two circular 12 volt power ports here. A lot of times the regional assembly port will install two USB ports for an additional charge or your dealership will do that as well. Now the interior of the 2019, it looks just fine. It's very rugged and very sporty too. It kind of is symbolic of the Forerunner ambiance of personality. Now this right here, this is a 6.1 inch touch screen. It has integrated navigation system, which means it has an SD card here. So one of the things that people ask a lot is why can't the Forerunner have a bigger multimedia screen? 6.1 inches is fine, but this is a very large cavernous interior cabin. So it would be nice if we could have that. It does not have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa, Waze, anything like that. Now notice down here, the controls, we've got knobs that control the warmth, where the air comes out. Pay attention to that part there. And then up top here, because it's an off-road, we've got the 
cruise control here, crawl control, multi-terrain select, and it also comes with active traction control, locking rear diff, places for garage door openers, etc., etc. And then if we focus on the multi-information display here, this is monochromatic, means it's just pretty much one color. It's like a black and white, and it gives you a little bit of information about your vehicle. You'll see the things I'm talking about now are going to be improved in the 2020 whether you like it or not that's a different story but notice the styling on this the controls the display around this touch screen and tell me which one you think is best i really like the upgrades to the 2020 display both in the multi-information display that you see right here this is a 4.2 inch color display i might as well show you that right now actually i can change information about the vehicle here it changes you can see the steering angle the compass, music, how deep is your love? Lane departure alert or radar cruise control, change our settings, and then we've got, I love the digital speed, so that's very cool. Let's pan across and just kind of take a look at the whole interior here. It's been modernized, it's refreshed, that's for sure. I think it looks very hip, very with the times, and now it has bigger sizing which matches the interior. So take a look at this information display here, the multimedia display. It's an eight inch touch screen now. That's a huge improvement on this vehicle here. Comes standard, every trim level comes standard with Sirius XM, gray snow, HD radio. This is dynamic navigation. This comes updated in real time when you need it to from the cloud. So that way if there are new subdivisions, new roads, things like that, it gets updated in real time big improvement there now this also has things like Apple CarPlay Android Auto I wonder if Apple CarPlay is even on here yeah it's not on this part of it here but it has Apple CarPlay Android Auto Amazon Alexa commands it's a big huge improvement guys now this one's also going to have let's kind of scroll up here it's going to have safety connect Wi-Fi connect remote connect service connect destination assist it's got a whole bunch of connected services which improve your convenience, your safety, and your time, frankly, and it limits distractions. Which interior do you like better? Oh, by the way, before I stop this, I wanna show you, pan up here, notice how there is no moonroof. When you get the TRD Off-Road Premium, remember the moonroof is optional on top of that. So you can either ask for it or not ask for it. That does not come standard. That's a mistake that a lot of people make just because you don't buy cars every day. I can help you with that. All right, boys and girls, let's look at the tail of the tape here. On the 19, this is a TRD Off-Road Premium. Some safety ratings. The gas mileage is 18 combined. We'll notice a difference between the 19 and the 2020. Let's look at the sticker price. In other words, the MSRP from the factory on the 19 is $40,395. We're gonna jump across a couple pages. If you get a 2020, it's $42,470. So it's a little bit over $2,000 more for the upgrades. Now on the 19, you can see standard features on the left. The pricing is all over the place here. It's gonna be hard to do apples to apples because this one has the sliding rear cargo deck and the sunroof moonroof xp predator package focus in on the fact that this does this has the trd pro grill check out my grill and so when you add up everything with these options you're going to get forty six thousand three hundred. and then here's the 20 we've been waiting for this guys made in japan safety ratings the gas mileage did go from 18 to 17 maybe because of the weight of some of the options that were added to it i'm just speculating here and it has the connected services. Remember the remote connect, that will definitely save you time. Safety connect, Wi-Fi connect, destination assist, service connect, Android Auto, guys, that's exciting. Apple CarPlay, those are big. No sliding rear cargo deck, so, and no moonroof. The XP Predator package, that's everything that's in it except for the TRD Pro grill. And then this one's gonna be, ironically enough, about the same price, 46.5. And please contact us at Fred Anderson, Toyota in Raleigh. It will be the easiest car purchase you've ever had, even if it's long distance. We can do this. Hey, what did you think of the TRD Off-Road Premium in the 2020? Did you like the improvements? Smart key, rear USB ports, Toyota Safety Sense, the 
refined interior, bigger screen, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, ways, 50 ways to get connected. Hey, thank you guys so much. Please subscribe to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. Also subscribe to Fred Anderson Toyota YouTube channel. So go to Fred Anderson Toyota YouTube, hit subscribe. Thank you very much for growing them both. You're gonna get the latest Toyota reviews, news, and how-tos. See you next time! Woo!